what I did at McKinsey was consult for clients, and my specialties mm -hmm. included grocery pricing. Uh, and part of it is publicly available because I worked on a project to fight climate change that involved energy efficiency, and you can look it up. I think it's called Unlocking Energy Efficiency in the U.S. Economy or something like that, so that's public. Um, the, the bind I'm in right now is I believe in keeping your word, and I signed a legal document about uh, client names, and I am calling on McKinsey to release me from that so that that client list can go out. Now, it's not like I was running the place, right? I was, it was my first job out of school, but I think the American people deserve to know. Uh, and especially when, when somebody who used to work at that company is running for president, people ought to know what, what you worked on and who you did it for. Um, I also think that the choices they've made, I can think of at least four times in the decades since I left that I've opened the newspaper and been disgusted about something that I saw. The pharma is what in one example, this news about ICE is another. And what you see is a company that I think basically reflects what's wrong with corporate America. They think as corporate America thinks, right? They serve the majority of companies in the Fortune 500. And it's all about shareholder profit maximization. I mean, that's what companies do, which is why companies need to be regulated so that they're never, as they do what companies do, going outside the boundaries of what is morally acceptable. And what you have with law firms and consulting firms is they become, they're amoral. They, they follow whatever they think their client needs. And they need to accept a greater degree of moral responsibility. But also, this is what regulation is for. Right? The point is that we as a democracy decide the limits on what anybody in private profit ought to be able to do in order to make a buck. 